really the tale of two cities, uh, looking at the short term. Domestic is very strong. I wouldn't say very strong, but strong. Uh, international, however, has all the challenges of COVID and uh, testing and quarantine and all that. So international, we are struggling uh, at only 28% of our pre-COVID capacity. Domestic, however, we had 80% of pre-COVID capacity. So taking a longer view of all this, uh, I think we should be at 100% of domestic capacity by April at the latest. Uh, and international will open slower, but by the end of calendar year 2021, we should be at pre-COVID levels internationally as well. Once the pandemic crisis is behind us, we see lots of opportunities for growth. Um, India has on very low penetration in terms of air travel. Uh, only about five to seven percent of Indians have traveled by air. So there's a huge amount of uh, pent up demand, if you will, as the economy recovers uh, for more domestic travel. International is even brighter picture. Before we went into the COVID uh, crisis, uh, international was 25 percent of our capacity and the margins internationally were higher than the margins domestic. And we see lots of room for growth uh, within six, seven hours out of India, which would cover a broad circle, if you will, from Moscow to Cairo to Malaysia to China. Uh, so we are very excited about those growth prospects. And as you know, we have a big fleet expansion coming. So I'm just itching to get to 2022 and keep growing rapidly. Talk to us a bit more about that fleet expansion, Mr. Datta, because you have raised, like I pointed out, close to a billion dollars through the QIP road. Uh, in fact, uh, you are looking at uh, raising money through the sale and lease back transactions. Uh, what would that look like? What would that mean for your fleet management, maintenance services, and thereof? Uh, so QIP, by the way, is off the table. Uh, we floated a QIP proposal back in May, June, when we were not sure how the pandemic would uh, shape up. Uh, but now, given the strength in the domestic market, uh, our cash flow is actually from operations has improved pretty markedly, and we see no reason to raise for the cash. We are quite self-sufficient on the cash front. Uh, we have a good, strong balance sheet, and as I said, uh, cash flow from operations are getting stronger every day. So QIP is off the table. Uh, we will be self-sufficient in terms of funding the um, expansion plan. We are not thinking of raising any additional money at 